everybody. My name is Tucker, and welcome back to our Russian Fishing 4 for Fishing Gear. Today, one thing you'll notice, we're back over at Old Berg, but another thing you'll notice when I cast out here, we're getting happy hour again. As part of the reboot, they gave everyone happy hour for another week, and then folks that had premium during some of the times the game was having problems are also getting some extra premium time there too, so. Uh, not entirely sure if I had premium during the days they said uh, that they're giving stuff out for us, so if we do, great. If we don't, whatever. But uh, that means we will be getting some extra experience points here. And I don't know why I cast Rod 1 out the way I did, because it doesn't have the right size hook on. It's going to be one of those days. It's the wrong rod in general, too. I don't want my ultralight rod. Well, let's go with the bolo rod today. Yep. That's good. That rod away, you can go with the bolo rod. Here we go. So, decided to go Bremen again here at Oldberg. We'll see what we can get. Been uh been a bit of a busy day for me. It's about 9.45 at night in real life. So we'll see how things go. Did just get paged out for the four letter W word at the end of my fin fishing recording. So hopefully we don't see that here as well. And honestly, I probably should have put these rods together before casting out, but forgot that I didn't already have them set up. Probably should switch the quiver tips as well the next time I think about it. So it is early as, uh, you may remember from a previous episode recently where I did some science of fishing all day for bream. So might be a little bit early, but this should be a pretty decent spot. We fished here many times. So I think we'll have some fun here. Might be a bit of a shorter episode with it being a little bit late today. We'll see. We'll play it by ear. Other than uh, the free premium and the, or, sorry, free happy hour and potentially free premium, they didn't really give much of an announcement, as we may be able to see from here. The New Year's Fair is still on. I thought they were turning it off, but they didn't. So, I know that'll be coming soon, but uh, that's really... Oh, and they re-enabled chat over at Mosquito because it's got less usage. So, nothing really major there. Good news of free premium means extra XP, so hopefully that'll let us get leveled up here a little bit. Although, levels are part of what we need uh, with us getting some extra time here i'm debating potentially grinding up ground bait since we have free happy hour so if you don't know what a happy hour does is when you're fishing it gives you bonus xp and a bonus chance for skill ups and then when you're doing other skills so anything on the o screen you know if you're float fishing spin fishing bottom fishing harvesting baits it gives you a bonus for cooking gives you a bonus for i could care less about cooking making ground bait making lures all of that will give you bonuses i guess i will say between episodes i did go cook up a whole bunch of tea about 100 packs of tea and i think i had one failure so we ended up with 400 594 yeah 594 Thermoses of tea. And since we do have a better chance for skill ups, I might as well dig. I probably should have looked for the bloodworm scoop. It's 
too late now. I'm not going to run back over to town for, for that, but if I remember correctly, it is kind of expensive. I'm going to go ahead and pause for a second until we get closer to bream time. So if anything does come up, I'll come back in, but don't want to be sitting here with nothing on the lines. We're back not too much later. Got uh, this fish on here. It is getting close to nighttime, so I'm not surprised. It's a pretty decent fish here, though. It is a bream. For a second, it didn't look like one. 1.75 kilos. Got to start it off well there. Probably 15, 20 minutes of in game time after I paused. And I knew that would be the way it goes, but. Would rather do that than be sitting there with nothing showing up for a long, long time. Not sure which rod it was. I heard it out of my right ear, so I'm going to guess it was rod three. I didn't actually see it. Jingle jangle. And both of them just went <clears throat> fairly slack. My voice did not want to stay with me there at all. That's not a good sign this early in the episode. One point seven eight eight. Just realized I still have not reset the quiver tips.
now we're getting into kind of the peak breeding time. I guess that means I need to pay more attention. Add three is doing the thing again where it goes slack. Eventually reeled it in a little bit more there to just move it off whatever it was on. I don't know if it's caught in a tree or something and just slowly rolling free. There's no current. There's no wind right now, so there's no reason it should be going slack unless there's something biting it. Or if it's on kind of the uphill slope of a downhill area, I could see it maybe. This is not the speed I was hoping for, though, today. Yeah, whatever hit two, let go pretty quick. And that's about where I want it. Oh, you know what? I bet I have this set at 30 centimeters. Except I don't. I'm starting to think this wasn't getting any bites because I didn't have the depth right. Went a little bit deeper. We'll see if that helps. Hit the wrong button. Really need to disable the Windows key. Tiny white brain.
don't understand why Rod 3 does that. Exact same setup. Rod 2. Rod, no. Rod 2 doesn't have the upgraded friction brake, but I doubt that would cause it. Looked up and saw the line and thought the float was laying on its side like a brain would do. And that is not a brain. A decent crucian, but not a brain. In the past, this area has been better for me in the morning than at night, but we'll see. Also interesting, there's not a lot of activity in chat here either. Maybe this is not as good of a hotspot as it has been. Let's try some pea porridge. Let's see if we get anything better or different. Everyone's been using uh, cottage cheese dough recently. In the past, pea porridge and garlic dough have been my better green baits.
Try garlic dough on the foot rod. Three brain. Chicken wings I had for dinner are starting to try and make around two appearance. We're tasty, but. Oof. Well, garlic does looking promising. And I'm okay with that because it's cheaper and I have more of it than cottage cheese dough. Three point three five three, nice fish. Interesting. There's a diesel truck outside my house. Not normal for this time of night. I think it's a diesel truck. It sounds like a diesel vehicle. Could be a motorcycle as well, I guess. And I know one of my neighbors does have a motorcycle. I just hear a fairly loud idling vehicle. And it was definitely not a motorcycle it just drove off. Another one kilo bream. I 
did put garlic dough on rod uh, three as well too. It's interesting that it went from nothing that uh, it hadn't seen anything, and this rod went from absolutely no bites on cottage cheese dough to you back to back to back good brims. So, I don't know. We'll keep an eye on it. Another decent marker bream. Just acting weird. So I'll recast it. Another marker bream. Tempted to go back over it right across this. Might be over there that I'm thinking of that I had some good luck in the past. May try that tomorrow. Or is it that rock? can't remember the exact rock. It was a nice flat rock. I forgot to be watching the bolo rod. Seriously? Wow. Float flips. Float. Float flips over, and I swear there should have been a fish on it, but nope, nothing. Words, words are easy at 10, 15 at night. One point seven seven two.
This one was weird too with the way it was pulling against me when I was trying to reel it in there. It's kind of had that. It hasn't done anything. Let's reset it feeling. Another marker bring. Not an amazing one though. It's about 7 a.m. So we got a little bit of time still. This is kind of the resurgence of the bream hour. The second time that's happened. The third time that's happened, where the float flips over and there's nothing on it.
Come on. I did notice it said touching bottom, so I am going to shallow it up or shorten up the lead just a touch. Go to 1.85. I think the fish was able to pull it down and actually kind of just bounce its chin on the bottom, the equivalent of its chin. Do fish have chins? I don't know. Thought-provoking <laughs> message brought to you by Tucker's Tired. That was not a brain. That was a roach. Not really what I want. Although we are getting out of peak brain time. I forgot to be watching. I think I'm probably going to call it here in a second. I just kind of completely zoned out there until whatever Rod did the jingle jangle, it just did. Not the best day. We did get that one three kilo bream. But before I fall asleep on the couch here, I think it's time to call it. Got a bit of a run ahead of us as I run right into a tree, which, with how tired I am, feels like it probably would have happened in real life. I don't know, all of a sudden I just kind of hit that, hit that wall of it's time to start thinking about heading to bed. Probably didn't help. I slept really well last night for the first time in a while. To the point that I actually remember having dreams. Don't remember what they were, but I remember actually dreaming. And I don't remember dreaming too often.
So we'll take a quick look. 19 fish. I'm going to say 40 silver. I don't think it was a good day. Holy crap, I'm wrong. I'm glad I'm wrong. So 97 silver on uh, 19 fish. Not bad. Uh, roach, eyed, white, bream, crucian, tench. Yeah, I didn't get anything at the cafe. So 90 silver, decent amount of XP as well, too. But uh, other than that, I think we'll wrap it up there. So we'll be back again tomorrow. Hope you all have good tight lines between now and then. And uh, we'll see you then. Bye-bye now.